I've had a few requests from a few of my subscribers asking to do a barley box haul. My barley box is just a plastic big box on wheels, I'll show you in a minute, that I put snacks, toiletries, just everything basically that we're going to take to barley. With us, um, I've just put everything out on the table. We do take a lot of naughty treats. You're on holiday, so you know. That's what you do, you have naughty food and you come back a few kilos heavier. I am taking healthy food and also I do go to the supermarket once we get there and I buy fruit, yogurts, your cults. I also buy eggs and I get the hotel to boil them for me. Um, but yeah, this is for nine days. We're headed off to Bali in September and I cannot wait. My husband has done the calendar today. <laughs> We've got a countdown going on up the top there. And he's got pretty creative. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'll show you what I've got done so far and I'll also show you the um, bags that I do up for my kids. They're a great idea. So if you've got kids of your own and you're going on holiday or even, you know, just in the car even, these are fantastic. They keep, keep your kids occupied and stop them from annoying you and let you enjoy the holiday as well. So let's get into the video. Okay, so this is a box that I use. It's just one of those slots that it's on wheels and it's a big 48 litre. This has actually been full to the brim and I've actually keep it down here in the corner and I've actually been using the Esky as well. So that's what I've been using, but yeah, let's get into the, what we've got. I'll go through these a bit better um, once I've done all the food bit, but these are all the kids' bags. I've got the big Ziploc bags and I'll do them up the little goodie bags. I've thrown Hudson's little vest in here with all the stuff, so I do not want to forget that. First thing, we've got all my little treats in the corner. These are beautiful, these sea salt and balsamic vinegar little chippy things. I also got some of those premium snack packs with the um, yeah, crackers in there. And I've bought tins of tuna. So I'll be having tuna and crackers. I bought some of these goodies crackers as well. I've got some chia and sesame seed crisp, uh, sesame crisps, protein bars. I can never have enough protein bars in Bali. I've got a mix of Quest bars. I've got a couple of chocolate chip cookie dough ones, a couple of chocolate chunk, chocolate brownie, um, mint chocolate chunk. I tried this for the first time the other day. It's, it's all right. I probably wouldn't buy it again after this, but they're on sale. That's why I bought them. Um, I still haven't tried these, but I bought a few more packets today because they were two for two fifty, so they're half price in Woolworths. Got a box of these low carb bars as well. I got everything out of the box mainly. There is a few things I've just bought I do need to take out still. Um, I try not to take too much rubbish along to Bali with us. Um, I'll start out this corner. Got some bubbles for the kids. They were like on sale for 50 cents in Big W. Bought everyone a tooth, new toothbrush holder and a new and a new toothbrush to take. I know you can get them cheapest chips over there, but yeah, I don't want to worry about that. I take this coconut and peach. It's just like a spray stuff, and it's all glittery. Me and Missy Moo like to put that on ourselves sometimes. It's nice. Hand sanitizer. This stays on my little purple bag that I carry on my body at all times, so we. Don't get germs. Glen 20, this is for the bathroom. I like to just sort of spray the room generally when we first arrive. Uh, especially, yeah, door handles and stuff like that. Ew, I'm a germaphobe, you know me. Uh, got a fly spray. Barley fly spray absolutely kills me. I don't know what it is. It really, really hurts my chest, so I take our own. Gaviscon, got a big ass box that was on sale. Um, yeah, definitely a must when we're drinking like we do. Um, even our own toothpaste. That was only about 70 cents from the chemist. Got a big ass tub of sun cream, 50 plus. Got an AeroGuard. We keep this, the same thing in the opposite side. I've got this is in one end of my bag and this is in the other. So even any time we're gonna walk out the door of the hotel, we're spraying with that so we don't get attacked by mozzies. Lollies for the kids, snakes, chicos, minties, sour chews, some sour straps just from Kmart. 
Uh, also got some of these. These are to just take on the airplane, basically to wipe down the little tray thing in front of you that's so disgusting that it doesn't get wiped. Some chewies. Um, yeah, some of these are just random snacks and there's not the whole lot of them because um, I've already packed some into the kids' bags for the aeroplane, so these are just leftovers. We've got, yeah, Oreos, some little, um, what are they? Like rice cake things. Uh, we've got marbles, just some biscuits, so there's, yeah, random packets of those. Got some salted peanuts for hubby. Got these sweet chili flavored cashews. Yeah, James will love those. Got these rice wheels. These are really good, those ones. Um, the burger flavoured are really good. They taste a lot like burger rings. Got a big pack of popcorn. Got some Minion um, cookies or whatever they are. Got these LCM split sticks. These were cheap as chips, like $1.50 in the spud shed, so grab some of those. Fantastic barbecue crackers. These are good because there's four rows, so the kids can just have a row each of those. We've got four packs of wafers, a couple of chocolate and strawberry ones there. Pringles there. I'm just going to pop those in the bag for um, pretty much just the airport while we're waiting around. Kids can eat those. Big box of chips. I'm going to take all those out of the box and they're coming out the box and they'll come out the box as well. I'll probably just put them in some plastic bags, which still not really good for the earth, but yeah, it's going to be less rubbish in the hotel room anyway. Um, all these chips were like a dollar at Woolworths, so I grabbed some of those. A couple of muesli bars left over, and just some of these sour chew lollies. The next things I'm going to show you, you'll be thinking, what? Why would you take those? But believe me, when you're out on the balcony and you're having some drinks, you need this to go with it. Okay, so here it is. I got some... Jats crackers, I've got two boxes of those. Um, these are just in the cold bag in there. They're just my light, tasty cheese and crackers. I've got a tub of sweet chili Philly. This stuff's beautiful. And I also bought some Hungarian salami, and this one's just normal salami. Got a couple of cracker barrel cheeses. Got a big jar of cucumber bread and butter pickles, and some olives as well. Yeah, I've got a bag that's like uh, fully insulated. So what I do is the jars and stuff like that, I wrap um, tea towels around them and I put all ice bricks and those soft um, like gel frozen sort of pack things all around in there. It's, it's good because once I've packed everything in here, there's not a lot of room for anything to move around anyway. And I make sure that I get them to put a... Um, what do you call it? Fragile sticker on the suitcase anyway. So they're a bit more gentle with it and it's good. It's got the Velcro bit at the top. So you Velcro the straps in and it's all secure. So it's a good size bag, this one. This is, um, Hubby got this one from work. So yeah, I love it. It's really cool. And we also take it when we go on picnics and stuff. It's great. We've actually, um, Bought crackers and pickles and salami and cheese on one of the last trips in Bali and it was feral, like it tasted like absolute crap. So last time I said, James, nah, I'm packing this and he's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. But guess who absolutely loved it when it was time to sit out in the balcony and eat it. So I've done it again. It's just beautiful. Um, so the next part of the video I'm going to get into is showing you all the stuff that I have done for the kitties. Okay, so my favourite thing to have in my life when we go on holiday, just, well, not even on holiday, I love these big Ziploc bags, they're fantastic. So I've got uh, one each for the kids, so they have their name, so this one's Jai's, and I put Tabali on these ones, and then the ones coming home, I'll put their name again, and then I just put home on there. So, um, yeah, Jai's got a book in his the 26 story treehouse because he had a birthday so he got a few books and they just have a couple of little snacks and stuff in there. Lachlan's got a word finder book in his and a scratchy. Hudson has got um, same thing yeah chalky a couple of little sweet treats. We will be having lunch on the airplane as well so they don't really need too much 
you know, and it's only three and a half, three and a half hour flight. So, Missy Moo's got, I've uh, got this cute little, um, it's like a little, looks like a notebook inside, but they're actually little post-it notes. So that's pretty cool. And she's got some little glitter gel pens that I scored cheap on clearance the other week. And in the back there, she's got one of those, like you use the little pen thing to scratch it and colour it in. And I also picked her up this one today from Big W. That was five bucks. Comes with like the textures, pencils, sharpener, stickers and all sorts. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'll probably put that one in with her going to Bali bag. And I picked up these for Hudson today as well. This was ten bucks. He loves Thomas. So this one's a magic ink activity set. So you just like use the magic pen and it's sort of like as you colour it in it reveals the colour and stuff so that's pretty good. Won't be as messy as having 10,000 textures dropping all over the aeroplane floor either. So I thought that was pretty cool for 10 bucks and I grabbed this book. Um, it's so cool. Questions and answers. I was actually talking about this in a vlog the other week. It's just like got all when, why, how and who sort of questions and it's got the little flaps that you lift up and it's got the answers. Um, yeah, I was talking about this in a vlog. I actually ended up putting this back and then I've been to, back to Big W, this was the third time I'd gone back and I actually grabbed hold, grabbed hold of the lady who worked in the um, book section and she actually found it. So she was like, I don't know, I've got no idea. But yeah, I was so stoked. And this was only 10 bucks, so I'm going to take that on the aeroplane for Hudson as well. Um, and then, yeah, they're coming back one. It's just the same. Lachlan's got another scratchy in his. A couple of treats and stuff. Like, Jai's got a colouring in book and that. Um, yeah, so they're like little show bags. And they don't get to see these until we are on the aeroplane. So it's a bit more of a surprise for them as well. So they have no idea. Well, Jai knows he's got a book in his, but they have no idea what's in them. So it just makes it that little bit more exciting for them as well. But, um, yeah, it cost me a little bit to make them, but like I said, it's, yeah, it makes it more fun for them. They have their phones and tablets for the airplane as well. So the older boys, yeah, they'll be on those the whole time pretty much anyway. Joe will probably do a bit of reading. He loves reading. Um, and the younger two, yeah, they'll have their tablets as well, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think the younger two, they, they tend to like colouring in and doing activities and, yeah, I'll just, oh, sorry, <coughs> I'll just be, um, yeah, helping Hudson and doing this book together, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, that's pretty much going to conclude this vlog anyway. Um, there might be a few more little things to get thrown in, definitely no more food. But I do have, um, yeah, like some things in the um, medicine cupboard that I've got to go in still that I don't forget. And I also have a big list on my fridge. Um, also, I'm going to give you another fantastic tip when you go away. And it's these Ziploc bags. These are fantastic. We number these. So we'll be numbering them from um, one to nine. And we split our spending money up and we put like, say, $150, $200 in each one. And then we put them all inside a, a bigger Ziploc bag and we keep them all in the safe. So every day we get up, we just go into the safe and day two, grab that one out. And it's so good. just saves you counting your bloody money all the time, like oh, how much we've got left and all that sort of jazz. And we also, sorry, I need a drink. And we also need to um, have another one for duty free as well. So I'll have that one for coming back. Obviously on the way over, we'll just use our key card. But yeah, just a fantastic idea using these. So anyway, guys, whoever requested this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next